In this video we're going to be looking at the Tokyo Offroad Silicone Coolant Hose Kit which can be used to replace the stock lower left coolant hose on 2020 and 2021 KTM, Husqvarna and Gas Gas 250 and 300 TPI models. Here you can see my 2021 KTM 300 TPI and the stock lower left coolant hose, which is this piece here, um, on 2020 and 21 KTM, Husqvarna and Gas Gas 250s and 300 TPIs uh, is prone to getting punctured in this area. Uh, so you can see here I've put a, a piece of plastic on to help guard it. Uh, what happens is in a crash, uh, the ra radiator get get forced back and it pinches the hose um, onto this uh, power valve cover screw and creates a puncture in this area. So adding a guard uh, can help it but it, it still doesn't guarantee that uh, it's not going to get damaged. If the lower coolant hose does get punctured while you're riding uh, it'll result in a total loss of the coolant and that'll typically be the end of your uh, ride unless you have a way to repair it. And I know several people that uh, this has happened to, and uh, one person, uh, it's happened multiple times, and we've had to tow him back to the trucks. Regarding OEM replacement parts, uh, just this hose is not available on its own. Uh, if you do want to purchase OEM, uh, you have to purchase a hose assembly, which includes a thermostat. Uh, the bigger disadvantage is that uh, it's actually quite expensive to uh, purchase the assembly. So for this reason I decided to create a replacement hose kit which is inexpensive and higher quality. So here you can see the Tokyo Off-Road Silicone Hose Kit which replaces the stock lower left hose. The hose kit includes a high quality multi-layered reinforced silicone coolant hose and two stainless steel hose clamps. The hose dimensions are custom designed uh, so both the radiator fitting uh, diameter and the thermostat T fitting diameter are different. Um, so the hose has uh, different internal diameters at each end to ensure a perfect fit. And the stainless steel hose clamps, you'll either need to use a flat bladed screwdriver or a six millimeter socket. If you'd like to purchase the Tokyo Off-Road Silicone Hose Kit, I'll put a link in the description of this video. So here you can see the stock hose on the left and the Tokyo Off-Road Silicone Hose on the right. And you'll notice a uh, massive difference between the uh, construction quality of the hoses. So the stock hose has one reinforcement layer um, compared to the Tokyo Off-Road Silicon Hose, which has three reinforcement layers. The wall thickness of the stock hose is about 3.5 millimeters, and the Tokyo Off-Road Hose is about 4 millimeters. So a small increase in the uh, wall thickness, but the number of reinforcement layers is uh, 3x. So the Tokyo Off-Road hose will be a lot tougher and a lot more difficult to puncture. And here you can see that I've installed the Tokyo Off-Road Silicon Hose Kit. Uh, installation is very easy. Just remove the tank, drain your coolant and install the kit. A couple of things to note regarding the installation. Uh, the silicone hose has different internal diameters. So the smaller diameter goes onto the radiator and the larger one onto the thermostat T-junction. Uh, the hose clamps need to be nice and snug so uh, the fluids don't leak, uh, but you want to be careful not to over tighten them. Then when you've installed the hose, uh, refill the system with coolant, then you need to bleed air from the cylinder head. And the method on the TPI bikes is to loosen uh, the temp sensor on the head and then uh, watch it carefully and when coolant starts to come out, uh, retighten the temp sensor. Then once you've got the bike back together, start it up, uh, warm it up for a short amount of time, uh, cut the engine, check for any leaks, and then uh, once the coolant has cooled off, uh, check the coolant level. And if you're doing a trail site uh, repair and have lost all of your coolant, um, it's fine to use uh, regular water for a short amount of time. Um, so do your repair, fill the system full of water, um, bleed air from the cylinder head, and then complete your ride. Uh, then when you get home, be sure to uh, um, get rid of the water and replace with uh, regular coolant. Then if you'd like some additional protection, you can use some plastic like this and 
place it between the hose and the power valve cover and then zip tie it in place. One thing to note if you're considering deleting your thermostat, um, I think that's fine if you always write in warm or hot conditions. Uh, however, if you write in uh, winter cold conditions, I uh, strongly recommend that you uh, do not delete the thermostat. The reason being is uh, you can be much more likely to uh, experience cold seizure um, and the bike will take a lot longer to warm up and may never reach uh, operating temperature. So I uh, highly recommend leaving the thermostat in the bike if you ride in uh, cold winter conditions. So I sincerely hope that you don't experience a coolant hose failure, but uh, it's much better to be prepared for that situation. And that's why I recommend carrying a spare hose, either in your backpack if you're doing a more remote ride or uh, in your truck if you're doing a regular ride.